PDA data. Water filtration, baby. This is what we're here for. Holy crap. There's six PDAs here. I went down and I got the new, or I got the multi-purpose room. Come on. I know there's gel sacks down here. Ouch. Accidents happen. There's some gel sacks right there. What is going on gaming nerds? Welcome back to Midnight Gaming with Mystic Nightmare. Thanks for coming to the channel and hanging out. Hopefully you guys are having an amazing day. I'm having a pretty decent day. It is midnight yet again and yet again we are back on Subnautica. Final edition. This is the stuff that I've got. Cured, Reginald, Reginald. Okay, I've got some food, it looks like. Okay, a little bit of water, good. Okay, so, we got a message. Welcome Let's to listen to it. Captain. Aurora, this is Sunbeam again. We just picked up a massive debris field at your location. I didn't know how bad, how many of you, I, I didn't know. We're now en route to your location. We're gonna bring you home. Sunbeam out. Okay, the music's what really loud. I say? The only time I parked a rig this big on a rock that small was in VR. And I blew it. It's a bad option, all right, but so are all the others. You guys done? Okay, so what are we gonna do today? Today we're gonna turn off the lights to the sea mod. Because that's not good. Okay, so what I want to do is I wanna get our base completely established. Not completely, not fully, but fairly close to it, okay? So what we need to do is during the storyline, it's telling us we need to go for the floating island. And we're going to do that, but not yet. Because I want stuff to be able to plant when we get back with like the planter pots, the underwater plant pots, stuff like that. And we need to have... Um, some of the food and stuff from over there. So I want to grab a couple of things first. First of all, uh, we probably will go down to the mushroom biome. We're going to grab some deep shrooms to grow, and then we're going to grab some blood kelp to grow. However, down over in this corner over here, I think there's a small wreck. Where did it go? It was in here. I know it was. Where did it go? There's a small debris field, and I think, yep, I knew I saw that. Why? Why is there so many sharky poos over here? Let's go over here, and I think this is the bi the the bioreactor, the bioreactor. And if we can get this, yes, the bioreactor. If we can get this going, boom! There's the bioreactor. Okay, so we really don't need any of that stuff over there. Um, so we've got the bioreactor going now. Now we've got a lot of power that we can boost into this into this this base. So what I'm going to do first is we're going to go down into the mushroom biome and we're going to pick up a couple things that we can grow. So when we get back, we can set it up and we can immediately plant them and we don't have to go down here. Hopefully this doesn't get us killed. I'm going to try and stay above 200 meters. And then what we're also going to do is because we're going to be building on our base, we also need lithium. And when we get lithium, the easiest place to get lithium is over on, um, over in the caves in the solid island. And once we do that, we might as well just get some diamonds over there because the diamonds will be right by the lithium. We're going to end up getting diamonds anyway. Okay, so if you want to know where the best spot is for the blood kelp as well as the deep shrooms, it's right here. Oh, piss knuckle. I knew these guys were going to be in here. So over here, you're looking at camera, world position, negative 824, negative 150, and positive 860. It's very easy to get down here. It's very easy to do this. Um, and you can get them. In fact, I did a tutorial on it, to be completely honest with you. And that tutorial is my best viewed uh, video ever. It's got like... What is that loud noise? It's got like 4,000 views on it. And everybody wanted to know where the easiest place is to find these. I'm gonna keep the lights off because it'll attract those guys. There's your deep shroom right there. One, two, three, four. Okay, there's your blood kelp right there. One, two. Okay, now if you want to come in here, you can come down in here, you can get uranite, uraniumite, whatever the hell it's called. Um, 
and stuff like that down in here but I highly suggest you don't stay too long because of the crabby squids because we got crabs and then you got warpers down here as well but it's super 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 easy to get to do I have enough space I do have enough space okay I'm gonna go ahead and grab one more all right let's get out of here I know there's uranianite down here so if you guys are looking for uranianite you can also find every now and then you can also find like rubies and stuff along the walls but we got to get out of here because it's got really scary music going on hello what are you you're gold all right so these guys are finding me they're seeing me okay we're gonna head back to base i'm gonna drop this stuff off and then we're gonna head over to the solid Ooh, maybe i should clear this out real quick should i clear that wreck out real quick now we're gonna stay on track i'll be right back you can run around in here you really don't have to worry about the cave spiders i don't worry about them they hit me a couple times i'm fine i usually get around them it's not a big deal Come up in here, pull your flashlight out, go left, and go up here, and we can get to the portal room, but as you look on the walls, ding, 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 there's lithium, because we basically, we're going to be, once we get done with the floating island, we're going to be adding uh, multi-purpose rooms to our, our place, and the multi-purpose rooms are going to take away the, what is it, the... The stability or something like that of the I can't remember what it's called but yeah the stability of the base so we need to have the lithium so I'm gonna grab the lithium look at this look at this lithium hello probably a diamond no nope, lithium uh, there's one over here look at all the lithium okay so we're inside remember that materials you gather are the property of the that was a diamond corporation you will be liable to reimburse the another diamond price your current bill stands at three million credits. All right, so there is the teleport room. Very cool. Uh, yeah, so basically with this, all you got to do is just keep going down. Come down around here. Go down in here. You're probably going to find stuff all over down in here. Like I said, don't even worry about the cave spiders. Not a big deal. Okay. You're making a liar out of me now, game. Okay, so there's another one. There's another lithium right there. Oh, hello, lithium right there. But give me a couple more diamonds. Just a couple more diamonds and we'll get out of here. And we'll go home. Oh, hello. Gold. There's some more lithium. I think this is a drop-off down here, isn't there? Uh, More lithium. Look at all the lithium. Look at all that. Holy crapola. Okay, so yeah, I'm going to go ahead and finish just kind of tooling around down in here. Get us a couple more diamonds. And then once we're done with that, look at all the lithium. Look at all this. Okay, so I was on my way over to the floating island and I decided... Ooh, radio action detected. Uh, I decided that we needed one more thing to help establish our base, and that's the water filter. So we need to go down to the Degasi base down in the glowing mushroom biome. Now, we had a couple of uh, fiber left over uh, from the first episode. So I went ahead and made the radiation suit, and I got the blueprint um, from last episode when the Aurora blew up. So what I'm actually doing is I'm looking for the hole to the Degasi base right above... There it is right there. It's at 130, minus 46, minus 380. And it's right here. Now, if you're fast, what you can actually do is just head down here, even though you've got radioactive um, stuff going on, head down here and right about here, your radioaction at the radioactivity stops. So what we can do, ooh, I'm gonna hit the wall. So this is actually right above the Degasi base. Now I gotta watch how deep I go, and all I'm doing is I'm, I'm gonna come down here, I'm gonna get the PDAs, and then I'm also gonna get the water filter. I'll get everything down here if I have to. Okay, six, seven, eight, nine, hopefully there's no snake in there. Yep, okay, we're a little high. Okay, we're good, we're good. All right, let's go. Go, 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 go. Okay, so now I can actually put this back on. Oxygen efficiency greatly decreased. What do you mean greatly decreased? Okay, so there's one PDA. Okay, so we go in here. There's another PDA. 
possibly predatory life forms. Detecting an artificial structure somewhere in the region. Yeah, you think? I'm kind of in it. There's the third PDA. Integrating new PDA data. Water filtration, baby. This is what we're here for. Come on. Hurry up. Hurry up. Let's go. Anytime now. Okay. How fast am I? How fast am I? Let's go into the back room back here. Oh, I didn't realize one of these was over here. What is this going to give us? Oh, ultra high capacity tank, baby. Let's get the basic double bed. I think there's there used to be a PDA back here as well. It used to be right up here. But it looks like it's gone. Okay, so. We need to get back up and we need to get some air. Oh, man. This is so hard not to get stung in here. Uh, oh wait, is that a, is that a chair I can get? No, the desk? No? Okay, just gotta make sure. Let's go up. Gotta get up here, we're gonna get a little bit of air, we'll come back down, and we should be able to get the rest of the stuff down here. This is actually a pretty quick way to do it if you guys want to do it. You don't have to have any of the MK1s for, you know, your Seamoth or anything. You just come down, make sure you've got the advanced tank. You're good to go. Ooh, what is that? What is that? What is that? Thermal plant. I don't really use the thermal plants very often. Um, our base is kind of close to one, kind of. What is that? Okay, so there's the stasis rifle, which, meh. I don't use that either. I don't use any of the weapons, to be completely honest with you. Um, I don't need them. Usually, I can just kind of skirt my way around everything that's scary. Let's go up here. Okay, so... Is this it? Okay, so there's four PDAs here. Integrating new PDA Lots of PDAs different. in here. And I think that is... Is that it? Yeah, that's... Okay, there's no PDAs in there. I think we're all good. I think we're all good. We can get out of here. Let's just make sure by going up here. Okay, this is the other... Yeah, okay. I just had to make sure. We're okay. We're all good. I just don't want to get stung, because that would suck. And... Oop, there's a snake. We are out of here. We are out of here. Okay, so we just got the water filtration, which is totally awesome. We did the Degasi base down here. I don't... There's There might be a couple other things around. I don't see anything else laying around other than the thermal thingamabobber but I don't use them very often so now we can just go straight out of here so that's how you do that real quick um I'm sure all of you guys know about this radioactive I gotta switch this out again you guys remember me mentioning that we're going to the floating island I decided to make another pit stop we're right by the floating island but guess what down here is life pod 19 now life pod 19 is really good because Life Pod 19 allows you to get rubies down here as well. Just find it in this crack right here. You can get really, really far down with your Seamoth. Just before 200, and then you can go the rest of the way. Okay, so we can go down. Mm, I gotta quit switching this out. I gotta go get the Aurora done, basically. Okay, so there should be some rubies on the side of the wall. Alright, there's some rubies there. There's one right there. Okay, so we got rubies. There's one. Look at this. Two. Three. There's four. Looks like there's a PDA on the ground. Right there. Okay, so there's Life Pod 19. What is this? I'll take that lithium. Thank you. Okay, so life pod 19. How do I get in here? Okay, so there's another PDA right there. No, this. I want this. This is what I'm looking for. Okay, so there's no... Uh, yeah, there's no blueprints or anything in here. That's good, I guess. Um, so yeah, basically this is a really, really, really good spot to get rubies. I mean, there's rubies freaking all over these walls. Okay, so, happily enough, when you pick up the PDAs in Life Pod 19, it updates your Aurora Rendezvous Point dry land. So that's kind of cool. Uh, okay, so this is my happy place where I like to park. 
because this is where I find everything from this direction right here. It's just kind of the way I do it. Uh, as you can see with the rubies, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six rubies. Uh, I might have to eat some. Let's go ahead and eat that food right now. Picking up multiple energy signatures on the island's surface. On the island's surface. There's also a couple of PDAs in here, too. Uh, one of them is just on this path right here. Let's go ahead and get this done real quick. And maybe if we can do it fast enough, maybe we might be able to get some work done on the actual base. Okay, so you keep going down this. This is where that, um, where you get all your multi-purpose room and stuff. Keep going straight along here and you can find another PDA. Laying on the ground right here. Signal location uploaded to PDA. Okay, so Degussi voice log aftermath. Integrating new PDA data. Aftermath, Degussi voice log aftermath, voice log. Pick up multiple energy. Degasi voice aftermath. Why are, why is everything so hard to find on here? It said it was a voice log. I don't know. I don't know. We'll have to listen to all of this stuff later on. Right now, I just want to get stuff done. Okay, so let's go ahead and get the exterior grow bed. Let's pick up a melon. Okay, that doesn't take up too much. Let's go ahead and pick up these Chinese potatoes. Actually, we only need one. Uh, so we're gonna, I was, why did I drop that one? I could have just ate it. Doesn't matter. Okay, so now, now that it's getting dark. All right, so here's a tablet. Let's scan this tablet. That way we can make them. I'm gonna go ahead and pick that tablet up. Yes, I know. I'm. Trying to get stuff done. Okay, so here's a PDA. How much room do we got? Integrating Not a lot. PDA data. Let's go ahead and drink these three waters right here. That's good. Okay, so I definitely want the wall planter. Absolutely love the wall. The wall planter. Okay, and we've got the desk. Yes, yes, we've got the desk. Okay, so let's get out of here. Oh, there's another stasis rifle. I think that should finish off the stasis rifle for us. Yep. Okay. Up, up. We're getting a lot done today. Is there anything down here? No. Okay, so we got to go in here. Oh, what is this? Ultra glide fins. Hell yes. All right, use ladder. Pick up the PDA. Kill the dude on the wall. Actually, he's stuck there, so we're not going to worry about it. Got another PDA here, so that's like four PDAs right now. What do you got in there? We got an extra battery. Excellent. Is this a bulkhead? Let's go ahead and grab the bulkhead just because we don't actually need it, but we'll grab it. And we should be able to grab the spotlights too. And then we need to go up the mountains. I really wish it wasn't dark right now. Where was it? Okay, so I think that's everything in this little base right here. We're stuck. Go up here and we should be able to come out here and grab. Where is it? Now uh, we'll have to do it. Well, is is it down here? I think it's right right there. Spotlight. These the spotlights suck. I'll be completely honest with you. They suck. Okay, so let's go ahead and go up. And we're here. What's this? Another stasis rifle. We've already got that finished off. Uh, we got the spotlight. Okay, let's go ahead and go in here. What do you got? Give me some water. PDA right there. So there's the fifth PDA on this. Why do you keep going over there? I want you in here. Stay here. Okay, so now... That's it, right? Okay. So come over here. Indoor grow bed. We already got the outdoor grow bed, right? I'm only going to grab one lantern fruit. Let's go ahead and grab the observatory. Love the observatory, and I just realized something. I forgot to scan the multi-purpose room. Well done, Mystic. Well done, my friend. That won't do, pig. That won't do. Okay, so we got the indoor grow bed, outdoor grow bed, every grow bed, and we got to go to the other side. On the way back down, I'm going to go ahead and grab the multi-purpose room in the first base that I missed. And I'll see you guys up on the other side. All right, we're here. It took me a while to get up here, surprisingly. I did get that already, right? Yes, I did. Okay. 
So, yes. This is what, wait, what did I just pick up? Small? Eh. All right, let's go ahead and scan. These are my favorite because I always use the composite plants. They're the best. Plain and simple, they are the best. Um, they save space. They rock. You can plant a whole bunch of stuff really close to each other. Okay, so we got another... So that's what, six PDAs here? Holy crap, there's six PDAs here. I went down and I got the new... Or I got the multi-purpose room. All right, so we're coming down... Now, I know that there's like a whole bunch of growth stuff down here, but I just want to make sure I think we did get the grow bed and we need the exterior grow bed because we want to grow. OK, foundation. Where is the exterior grow bed? Where is it? OK, so there's an indoor grow bed. Where's the exterior grow bed? Crap, I don't think we actually got it. I don't remember where it is. Indoor grow bed? I, th I swear that we already had it. There it is right there. Exterior grow bed. Okay, we're good to go. That's all we needed from here. Uh, but we went ahead and did the entire island. I don't know if there's any more PDAs here. I don't believe there is. Um, but you never know. I don't... I, I, I'm not a PDAologist. Um, as Slipgator would say. Okay, yeah. See, it looks like this is just... Okay, so once you're here, oh, there's a PDA here. There was a PDA here, PDA. Rendezvous voice log. Integrating new PDA data. Sweet. One of these days we're gonna have to go through all of this stuff and actually just listen to all of it. Um, okay, so I'm gonna head back to the Seamoth. I'm gonna head back to base. We're gonna grow some stuff. We're gonna plant some stuff, grow some stuff, build some stuff, and I'm probably gonna yeah, I'm probably going to go get some titanium and a whole bunch of other stuff so we can build some stuff. Okay, we're back. Now, right off the bat, what I want to do is we're going to need a... We're going to need to listen Welcome to this. Aboard, no, I don't think that is. I think because that's I think that's the Sunbeam countdown. I don't want to start the countdown yet. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to put... Let's see. What do we need? What do we need? What do we need? We need... We need some lead... Okay, we'll put the rubies in here. A little bit of lithium in there. Okay, so right off the bat, what I want to do is I want to go over here. And I don't know if it'll allow me to do this. I hope it will. Nope, it won't. You used to be able to just stick stuff, like, in the side. Like right up there. Can we do one down here? Is that just going to hang like that? I think it is. I kind of like that. Let's do that. We're going to hang it right off of there. Then we're going to go in and we're going to do the grow bed. Is this the exterior grow bed? Okay, titanium ti times two. We're going to do a couple of them. Like this. And we're going to do one over here. Farming alien plants. Is a proven survival strategy. I know that. That's why I'm doing it, sweetheart. Craig McGill. <laughs> That's awesome. Okay. Um, okay, so what we need to also do is we also need... Let's see. We go here. Two, three, three. And then we're going to need a couple of deep shrooms to go in there. So we'll do this, and then I'm going to pull out some of these vines and bring them down here too. But I'm going to plant some more plants. One, two, three. Okay. And then we're going to put some deep shrooms over here. And that's how we're going to do that. So we're going to start doing that stuff right off the bat. Next thing we need to do is a multi-purpose room. Where is the multi-purpose room? Uh, is it over here? Multi-purpose room. Okay, so titanium times six, which I do have, but just not my inventory. Okay, so let's go ahead here. Might as well just grab those, finish planting those. And yeah, we don't need anything really else. Okay, so you... Oh, I thought that was one of those muncher, muncher dudes. Okay, so multi-purpose room. Okay, what's the problem? Okay, so there we go. We're going to do that. 
Okay, so y'all said I was gonna hang everything off the off the end. We're gonna do that right there. And we're gonna probably get rid of this tea, or we might just have keep the tea and have like multi purpose room over here. And leisure spaces to maximize productivity. Thanks, babe. But never forget that it is not. Okay, so next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna start growing just real quickly, just to get them out. We're gonna start growing these. Just to get them out there, get them going get us established and we're going to throw the decomposing melon in there cut it okay so we got that going and we need to throw another one down we'll throw this one right here just for the giggles we'll move all of this stuff around later I'm really I'm out of titanium crap I think I might have to go actually go find some more titanium nope I got titanium right here baby let's do this Okay, so let's go ahead and we'll plant this one in here just to get it going. And then I think we need one more right here. Like I said, I'm going to probably make a second level on this. I'm going to make I'm going to make a whole bunch of levels plain and simple. So we'll go ahead and throw that in there. The next level up here is going to be food and stuff like that. We're going to put the water filtration up there, but we've got the water filtration uh in in we got the blueprint in in the blueprint area wherever that is and maybe we should just throw one up now what do you guys think i should probably put that this away too okay i'm gonna go grab a few things we'll be right back i went and got some stuff some stuff but what i was actually looking at doing was getting the water filtration machine the thing is is we need aerogel now Aerogel is actually the sacks with the rubies. We've got the rubies, but we don't have the sacks. I know where the sacks are. That's cool. So let's go ahead and go out before we do anything. And we're going to put a couple of multi-purpose rooms on this bad boy. Um, if I can remember where the multi-purpose rooms are. Okay, we're going to put one here. And I got to watch to see how our stability is. Hull strength 5.5. .5, okay. So we can put another one on here. Okay, so it should be 1.43, 4 something, 3 something, 4.3. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're also going to do ladders, two ladders. Now, the reason I put two on is because the one above is going to be the food room with the water filtration. Then the one above that is going to be the one with the bioreactor, so it's out of the way. And I've got all this stuff for the bioreactor. Let's go ahead and how do you rotate again? Oh yeah, mouse wheel. Okay, so we're gonna go here. And then what I'm gonna do. Yeah, baby. Power source is a critical step towards self-sufficiency. Consider keeping a photo journal of your achievements. Oh, thanks, we appreciate your help. We're going to put one of these on each side. That way we can just come up, cut a couple melons, put them in there, and we're good to go. Simple, easy, and it feels good. Feels good, man. Feels good. Okay, how are we doing on these anyway? Can I... No, I'm stuck. Why am I stuck? Can I... Can... What? I... Cut. Cut. No, can't cut. Can't pick, pick them either. Okay, that's fine. Whatever. All right, so now we need to go get some aerogel. Or we need to go get the sacks. Now, I went ahead and I put another um, growth thing up here. I picked a bunch of the, the lubricant. We got a bunch of lubricant growing up here. Should be nice and cool looking over here. I like the way these sit on the side like that. It's really cool. I don't know if I'm really going to go absolutely crazy when it comes down to planting a whole bunch of stuff. But for right now, that's awesome. Okay, so we've got something that looks... Well, it looks kind of phallical. Let's put it that way. We'll just put it that way. Okay, so for sacks, the gel sacks for the aerogel, we need to go down into the mushroom biome. And we need to find the really, 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 really big mushroom. I think that's it right there. Nope, that's not it right there. And it's basically around the outside bottom of the big... That's not it, is it? I don't think that's it. I think it's more over here and right there, that gigantic thing right in front of us. And it should be around the bottom of this mushroom down here and then we can get some aerogel we can get the water filtration system going 
and we're happy. We didn't even need the lithium today, guys. I didn't even realize we wouldn't need it. Uh, okay, so where are the gel sacs? I know there's some down here. The biomass in this area is dominated by... It's usually blood. along the walls here. Okay, I'm going to turn this off so I can actually see a little bit better. Come on, I know there's gel sacs down here. Ouch. Accidents happen. There's some gel sacs right there. Also, if you guys are looking, there's also a... Uh, our little new friend down there. What are, what, what, is they, what are they called? I can't remember what they're called. Uh, the little buggy-eyed friend. I think he's down here too somewhere. Somewhere in one of these holes down here. We'll have to look for him a little bit later or something like that. He's like in one of these holes down here. I'm like right down in here. I'm like right around the corner. Somewhere in here. Maybe up here. I can't remember exactly where he's at. But they are down here. The... What the heck are they called? I can't remember. The squid eggs or whatever they're called. They're down in here somewhere. Okay, so we're back. You know what I was thinking? I kind of want to put a multi-purpose room. Where is it? Right? Can I put one over here? Yeah, I was thinking about putting one right there. That way we can throw in a whole bunch of, of supports. Of the, the lithium supports. Right? We can do reinforcements. Construction, lithium. What do you mean? Oh, I don't have any lithium on me. Do you? Okay, let's go ahead and go in here. Oh, lag spike. Never did fix that, did they? Where did I put the lithium? Did I already use all the lithium? You seek fluid intake. I'm sorry. I don't know where that came from. Uh, okay, so... I bet these are done. You think there's a done? Yep. There's your fluid intake. Okay, so in here we can put in... Yeah, we can put in some supports in here. What? I'm out of titanium? No way. No way! I had so much titanium. Okay, aerogel. I'm off track here. Aerogel. Rubies. We need rubies. How much aerogel do we need? Uh, where is the bioreactor? Or no, the filter. We need one, and we still need titanium, too. Uh, copper wire aerogel. So we need two of these. Boom, boom. There's one titanium. And then we need just one ruby. Is that it? Aerogel. One aerogel, right? Is that it? Okay, and so we need more titanium. Oh, the copper wire. I forgot about the copper wire. So let's go ahead and... Where's my copper wire? Did I not grab two copper? I did grab two copper. Where's the copper wire? Oh, there it is. Jeez! I guess I have to go find some more titanium. Dang it, I thought I had enough. I swear I had enough. Alright, we got our titanium. I stole it from a bunch of, of, of stalkers. They weren't happy with me at all. But that's okay. We'll make up with, for it later because we're going to give them a whole bunch of titanium to get their teeth so we can make observatories. It'll be awesome. Okay, so we're done with our titanium. Uh, what were we doing again? We were going to do... I've gone completely blank, guys. Up here. Go up here. Over here. Around here. And then, then turn around. Wait, which way? This way. I kind of want to take this down this way. Okay. Water filtration. We are now, ladies and gentlemen, established with food and water. However, normally, if you don't have the filtration thing, I would go get the water bulb plant. I would normally get that on the floating island, but we didn't get any of that because we didn't need it because I knew that we'd be fully established. Uh, and that's why I decided to stop off at the, um, the whatchamadilly call it, the Degasi base, is so we could just go ahead and, and, and do everything there, get the water filtration, not have to worry about it anymore, um, not have to cut up the bulb plants and just, you know, use the water filtration to do what it does. It filters water, that's what it does. And then up here, we're gonna make like, like this. We're gonna make it pretty. We need to do stuff like this and 
and and we're gonna put glass in there we're just gonna make it beautiful it's gonna be beautimous it's gonna be lovely it's gonna be wonderful we got a lot done today guys we were going just bat out of hell crazy we got the filtration thing we got the bioreactor done we got the multi-purpose room we've got the, the the pots plant pots and stuff like that i mean we just went nuts and we're fully established when it comes down to food and water uh, we hit the floating island uh, we hit the solid island we got lithium we got diamonds we are just good to go tons of stuff done today if you like the video hit the like button if you didn't don't hate it hit it don't hate it don't hate it don't hate on it just don't hit it no matter what you do subscribe thanks for coming out the channel and hanging out with me i really appreciate it guys um keep gaming keep doing it at midnight have a blast we'll see you guys in the next episode take care have a good one bye bye whoops 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 okay let's do this